Coach, we find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Houston Texans and our home team. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. Set up the third down. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground. And then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come. Out. Hey, up, here we go. 3 19. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. A great effort there. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Texans take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows them. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. Cold weather games wearing the old scuba gloves, which you'd wear in the diving, but they would split too easily in the course of a game. Then the glove manufacturers got smart and started adding to it. And here we are today. And this one is right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. Hurry up, here we go. Green three. On third down, Gavin. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Again, that makes it hard to defend. All right, here we go. Boom, landing. Back to throw now on first down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Fighting his way, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. As his guys are in for six, and the Bills are in for six. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it, and I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they is to rumble. Hurry up, here we go. Blue lining. Blue lining. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They'll set up a throw. It's great. Take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. In for the score. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Now the Texans are going to call on the field goal unit. And his kick here is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So they've put together a good. Back to throw. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted.
mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit him over the top. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there. Davis, so the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. And his kick is good. So we've hit halftime, just separating these two teams at the break. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. That's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Blue lining! Blue lining! He'll get it up the middle. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A great effort there. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bills will extend their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give him a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of... They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Blue Blue Gabbert here again. And just as you called it after the earlier sack, they set up the screen. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great play there from six yards away. And the Texans draw a bit closer. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Done. Throwing again, Gabbard on second and ten. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. 20. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there. 43 yards. And the Texans have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. There it is, partner. You see it. Four fingers. You're holding what up that four mean? fingers. That, four, that signifies the fourth quarters here. That's right. Who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter, what we found out so far. Two touchdowns here, and now they've taken the lead. Yeah, second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they've lost it. That's time to try and snatch a victory. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Go. Green, 39. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Gabbard to throw it. He will find Davis on the left side complete. And now running right. And nothing but green grass here. Middle of the field. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there. 53 yards. And the Texans have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. 
the 20 to the 18. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. to his right, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. situation but to me that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off the score that puts them in front here late but now you got to rally your kick team don't you and say the last thing we need is a big return and what happens is guys get over eager get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle <laughs> you mess up could come back at you a long way Point after, right down the middle. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out comes Houston. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes right, into now, play. Like They've worked on these situations. They practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get now. done. Blue and in a lot of cases, the great Blue competitors, Blue they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Here we go now, green 39, green. Back to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. 
So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. He'll look to throw. Left side, caught by Matthews. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. just short of the 45 at the 44. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. He's back to throw. And the grab made by the tight end Pruitt. And able to use his stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good game. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Let's go! 319! 3-19! Gabbard. Henry's got it. Out on the left side. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. And now they're in the hurry up. And he just clocked it. But the clock wasn't even moving. Well, that's one you don't see very often. A wasted down. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! All right, here we go. Green, 39! And movement Green, here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. False start. Offense. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Here's Gabbard. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. Detroit, that means the guys Detroit. going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Hurry up, here we go. 319. Now Gabbard. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Call it a one-yard gain on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. All right, here we go. 319. One last shot now for Gamble. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Denver, good night, everybody.